Putin, in the interview with Tucker Carlson, was right when he said that the US is more afraid of a strong China than of a strong Russia. As he is a kind man, he did not dwell on the subject. Allow me to do so. According to US debt, the United States has a public debt of $34.2 trillion. The country's total debt is around $97.6 trillion, compared to a gross domestic product of just under $28 trillion. Data from the International Monetary Fund, compared to a GDP of $33 trillion of the socialist nation. China has seven of the world's ten largest container ports. To have a basis for comparison, the sum of all American ports does not have the movement of Shanghai with 43.5 million TEU. The US was unable to even build a high-speed railway between Los Angeles and San Francisco, while the Chinese Maglev railway network would make it possible to go around the earth and still go back and forth between New York and Los Angeles. Chinese industrial production is well more than double that of the United States, and China exports almost a trillion dollars more in industrialized products than the US. The US depends on more than 34 trillion pounds in foreign financing. The country's current account deficit has never been higher, and Americans' personal debt is 25 trillion. The real estate sector is on the verge of ruin. 600,000 people are homeless, almost 40 million live below the poverty line, more than 100,000 die every year from overdose alone. The China, he eradicated poverty. Companies under Chinese control produce 40% of the world's motor vehicles, and unlike America, it has tactical hypersonic missiles. Oh, and the new largest navy in the world, which joins the largest army on the planet. Putin was polite. It's not that the US is afraid of China surpassing them, because the Chinese have already done it, and the distance only increases at the same time that it is already possible to see India in the rearview mirror. The Russian Federation is comfortable being by far the greatest military power in the world and winning the war in Ukraine while watching Saudi Arabia and Iran cooperate to rid the Near East of colonialism. It is not that the United States, therefore, is afraid of the emergence of a new world order with new leading nations. This has already happened. What they need is to get a place in it. Neither the Russians nor the Chinese intend to blow up America, but it would help a lot if they didn't implode themselves.